Hello everybody, it's I, the Luigi Big Mac, and welcome back to Pizza Tower. Last time, we pretty much, we completed most of World 5, completed World 4 by beating the, uh, uh, the World 4 boss. And we went ahead and went back to Gnome Forest, so we can get that final, uh, uh so we can get that secret we missed. Now here's the final level of the game. War. Uh, now the war outfit I'm wearing, you can only get if you beat this level on your first try for that save file. Now, luckily I did that immediately because uh, this level isn't too hard. A lot of people say this level is really hard, but uh, honestly, it's not too hard. As long as, long as you have a basic understanding on on how the uh, on how the uh, the mock run works and uh, and know how to. And if you're confident with avoiding enemies, this level should be a free for you. Now, this level is unique as it doesn't have pizza time. Instead, we have this bomb timer. Uh, what happens when the bomb timer hits, uh, hits zero? Boom. Game over. Like, it's an it's instant, uh, it's instantaneous death. Wasting precious time just to get uh the room. There we go. God. And every time you see every time you see a timer like that, uh, or any of those any of those computers, just destroy it. Yeah, some of these mind placements are really are really uh really neat. I'm going for it. I may be an idiot. Yeah, no dice. Oh, oh, gamer, gamer, gamer. I gamer did. Woo, that was a close one. I, I really tough. Uh, it was a, uh, it was a gamble on my part, but it worked out in the end. This is why you should, uh, this is why you should never give up, folks. Anyway, uh, out of all the secrets, this one is probably the, uh, the, uh, the most annoying, just because of, of these missiles here. If you get hit by a bunch of them, well, you're losing precious time. Don't know what to say. That's to be you, I guess. Make sure we grab that. Make sure you get down to the floor before you bump through that wall. And then we're going through here. And now we should have plenty of time to complete the rest of the level. And now we got more fake Peppino. They're, it's not the fake Peppino, so I'm calling them the fake, fake, fake Peppino. Because the fake fakes are the, uh, the fake, uh, fake Peppino, so you get what I mean. Also, also, banger alert, uh, the music that plays for this, uh, stage is really awesome. Anyway, and that's also, yeah, and the other thing about the stage is that because you're on a constant time limit, especially in the, uh, secret area, there's always, there's always a, uh, computer, uh, or terminal next to the secret, so they're given plenty of time to complete the level. And on top of that, uh, on top of that, the secrets are not really hidden. They're, they're actually quite, they're actually quite visible. So that way, so that way, you're not wasting time trying to figure out what the secrets are. Now, go away. There we go. 
don't forget to grab the uh don't forget to grab the treasure here and for the love of god don't waste your time because i might be cutting it close now because of uh because of two, a few fumbles i made Uh, actually, no, never mind. I have plenty of time. And I really dislike the fight these tanks. Now, you can do a second lap on this. However, you lose your shotgun upon doing so, and you're given about two minutes to get through the, uh, the rest of the level to get extra. So, uh... Yeah. But we now have every single... We found every single secret in the game. Found every single topping in the game. And found all the treasure in the game. Uh, I think the computer's down here. Yes, there it is. Yep. 95 out of 95. 57 out of 57. 19 out of 19. This pretty much means uh, not only we're getting a good ending. Uh, let's see. No. Well, we have to beat the game first in order for the uh, thing to show up anyway. So, uh... Yeah, so, yeah, we're gonna go Classic Pepino, because, I mean, it wouldn't feel the same if we fight Final Balls in a funky outfit. Anyway, here's Mr. Stick. He only requires you to give him $110, which means if you're speedrunning the game, you only need to, you can only, uh, you can miss nine, uh, you can miss nine of the toppings. Now, if you go back outside, you've, you've, Will you help Mr. Money with a little charity? Uh, now obviously this is Mr. Stick. We all know that. Uh, if you give if you give him the ninety dollars, uh, not only gives rid of the piggy bank, but you also get the orange color. Now anyway, let's just go down here. A lot of faces. Oop, hold up. That one turned. And uh, here's another funny scene in this game. face and it gets it gets even funnier uh midway through the boss fight when you put everything into context but anyway let's go fight the final boss we can see we can see our restaurant in the background and there he is So pizza face. First phase is easy his hardest phase. Out three. Yes, there are three phases in this fight. So if you're so if you're gonna want to uh whoop. Damn. Well we're gonna have to wait for him to uh There we go. Yep, so there's a bunch of different ways he can uh knock him down. He can either do upwards like that. Ooh, that was a bold one. Yep. Damn Fortnite! I hate them. I hate them so much. Get out of here. I, it, it, not, it wasn't. It's not like I was gonna go for a damageless run anyway. But it would have been nice. Yep. I wanted to throw, throw it upwards. Yep. And, and this is where it gets difficult because he'll just constantly be spawning the most annoying enemies uh, possible in this game. So, if you're not good with the... So... <laughs> there we go. Woo! Yep, and luckily, per phase, you get healed. Now, this is the true final boss, Pizza Head. And yes... He was taking a shower while wearing the, wearing the mecha, which is... You know what? Great A for, uh, for commitment. But anyway, we gotta shoot him now. Uh, so... So, with this attack, he grabs a brick, and he'll, uh, throw it at him. Up, oh, TV. Uh, the best way to avoid TV is just to uh, kind of choke in the back here. Uh, after you hit him for three times, he'll, uh... He's facing his whole body will start to, uh... 
I thought I thought I hit 40 levels. But... Oh well. Uh, pizza face is uh, old body. Wow. Okay, that was mean placement on the on the on the on the, on the game's part there. Yeah, this game, this fight just gets a lot more hectic, like like in the actual cartoon. That's that's TV. That's TV. You rarely see TV get thrown twice, but yeah, that phase is pretty easy. You just have to keep your cool and avoid everything. Now, here's the easiest phase of the fight. Now, you might be thinking, wait, uh, gotta, gotta love the noise, but uh, you might think, oh no, you have to refight all these guys. Nope. Pepino is pushed to his limit, and now he's going to fucking or or every single uh, one of these assholes. Uh, now, one thing I would like to mention: uh, look at Pepino's uh, walk-in animation when you, when you get a chance. Just he just kind of he just kind of gets into a dancing fever as he's speeding up every single uh, asshole in the game. Now, once the Vigilante shows up, Gustavo will be here. I always seem to get hit on the Vigilante. Yeah, so in order to hit the Vigilante, you need to hit him with Gustavo. Yeah, like... Honestly, the only difficult part of this phase is just the Vigilante. That's just because his moves are... Uh, his patterns are really annoying to deal with because he'll go from... He'll keep going from Dynamite to uh, Gun when you're trying to grab Gustavo, which is really annoying. Uh, he can still hit the noise normally, which is, which is good. Woo! Yep, but uh, but yeah, he gets, but like in the annoyed fight with his uh, little minion. Wow, he really only dumb jetpack and uh, pogo stick. He can also do skateboard and bomb and blimp in this uh, in this phase. Uh, now with Big Pepino, you can still hit him normally, but you still take the uh, the two hits for normal. And then finally, yep, yep, and there we go. Now we're on to the final part of this boss fight. So, uh, Pizza Head, he always, his patterns is really simple. Uh, every, uh, every single phase of his attack always starts with a uh, with the jump. Uh, boxing gloves, just keep keep your distance. Uh. Flies water, just jump over him. Uh, stop, just jump on the, just, just jump, otherwise you'll get uh, staggered into the air. Uh, you can also, you can also go for a parry as well, if you want to. You'll do stomp and then boxing glove. Uh, do be careful. Uh, you have to be quick after, after he's done his attacks, because otherwise, uh, because he can, he'll do his quick little laugh, and and we'll go back to like you have a short you have a short moment before you're able to uh, before you have to uh, dodge over the side again to be able to attack. But as a base, he he well, he, he definitely beat beat him, uh, well, we beat him up. And meanwhile, we're have Pepino is doing a big giant pile driver to. Uh, well, we're gonna we're gonna stick his his dumbasses uh, basically to the floor, just like that. This calls for a victory breakdance on top of his corpse. And let's just fall down here. Welcome to the crumbling tower pizza. This pillar this pillar John is different. That's important, and, I'll, and now I will explain it. But for now, let's get out of here. So this is easily a really cool level. 
because you're escaping the tower. Uh, now, if you remember from the very first episode of this Let's Play, I mentioned I've P-ranked two levels in my lifetime. This is one of them. The other being uh, John Gutter. Now, they try and gra cram in as many uh, gimmicks as possible. of those two. Uh, and you do actually save the bosses too, so we have Big Pepino with us. Uh, and luckily, we kept Snotty alive, which is something I did not do in my first take of the Let's Play, so we now have Snotty with us. Get it, let's get out of here, Snotty. Oops. Come on. There we go. I'm gonna try and go for P rank for this level, because it's not too hard. You just have to... Just be, just be sure to keep your comp... Keep that, uh, that little combo speaker guy, uh, from going down. That was a close one. God damn it, I got hit. Well, no more P rank. Because of a. Because I, uh, fucking fumbled. God damn it. Ah, well. It's not, it's not like I was going for everything to try and do this with every single P rank. Well, at least we're gonna, I'm going to try and go for S rank at the very least. Uh, we gotta grab the noise with us. Kill that guy up front, just because we could and can. Uh, and there is a golf challenge here. Still got the Primo Bird. This just shows you I'm a golf master. Anyways, let's just we have to go down here. Uh, we gotta grab more chicken and the big ante. And then at this point, you just hold forward. Like, I'm not even joking, you just literally hold forward. But we should be... Yeah, role play is going to be... Uh, maybe? Uh, Brad Pepperman... Uh, we might be able to get it, Frank, but I like that. Uh, I don't... I don't... I don't think I got it. It won't tell us until we reload the save file. But anyway, that's Pizza Tower, folks. Well, time to do some explaining for this good ending. Because we grabbed all the treasure, we were able to survive Big John, who is Jerome's brother. Pizza Head here first big Big John into becoming all the Pillar Johns that hold all those levels together and the tower together. And pretty much this guy has been abused. So we essentially saved his life. 
which is a which is a nice uh, bittersweet ending. And yep, again, it is still surreal that this game came out. Like I'll be honest, it's really really surreal that it came out in the first place, and I'm glad it did because this game rocks. Uh, anyway, we, we should be able to skip. Yep. Yep. There, there are a bunch of different pictures that will pop up, but, uh... But why, but why do that? But anyway, we got Pepino... But anyway, uh, here's everyone... Here's the whole game at, uh, Pepino's Pizzeria. Uh, Pizza Head's right there, pl probably plotting his revenge. Uh, every time you beat the game, or beat the final ball, and do crumbling tower pizza, you'll get Pepino's final judgment. And he'll judge you based on the amount of uh, how much you com got got done in the uh, in the uh, game. So I got not bad enough by that at all. Uh, if I if I somehow got up to 99 or not 99, 95, I would have gone wow. Man, man, just an hour short of getting uh, your quickest health. Actually, hour and a half, now I think about it. But yeah, that's my stats. Anyway, we're gonna hop, as you may see here, here on, uh, as you may see here on the, uh, as you may see here on the save file, you get Snotty improved if you save Snotty, and John approved if, when you get the good end. So let's just go back, in, let's just go back into this, uh, to our Let's Play save file here. Because we have some secrets to show, and we, and also cares on what rank I got for coming down. So the first secret, you have to run all the way over to Pepper Man's uh, door and run through here, and you get the old tower. Uh, this dragon here used to be what was was originally planned to be the boss for the first one. Uh, uh, and the way this boss battle would have worked, it was actually an actual level. Uh, you you activate pizza, pizza time immediately. And you have these, uh, instead of having regular Toppins, you have Toppin Warriors. Uh, you have six minutes in total to complete this, to complete the, uh, the quote unquote boss battle. But in, actual, but in actuality, uh, pizza, pizza time only lasts for a minute. As soon as that minute goes past, uh, Pizza Face will show up and try and kill you. Uh, when he touches Pepino, the Toppin Warriors, one of the Toppin Warriors will instead take the hit for you, allow you to continue on. So essentially, you're given six chances. Uh, this enemy right here, that I'm holding next to, uh, will, will be will ride on the wings. And you have to kill them in order to get the wings. Anyway, moving on with our uh, castle secret tour. Requires us to go down... Well, before we do that, let's hop into the secret eye. For beating the game and collecting every single secret, you get the game's uh, sound test. So, so yeah, you can pick any, uh, pick, you can pick any song you want. Pepino will be here dancing, and uh, so will Gustavo here. Anyway, uh, the eye may disappear, but uh, but don't worry, it'll it will come back. Then you just have to fall down here. And then you have this beat You cannot grab it, but you can but you certainly can uh, ground pound. And launch him upwards. Anyway, uh floor one floor two only has one secret. Uh, uh, oh and floor three as well. Uh let's, let's go for four three. So, you have to go up to where, uh, uh Space Dish, uh, Nine is, and there it is. This was originally a scrap, I think it was originally a level first, and then it got, and then I think it was supposed to be part of the city level, and it got scrapped, but, but yeah, it was supposed to be a, a, a circus theme park section, and it was originally a clown transformation. Uh, it, it is unknown what this transformation does, but, 
all I can, all I can, t all I know is that you all magically move. Like I'm not even touching the controller right now, except for jumping. And yeah, that's it. Anyway, moving on. Uh, four, 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 five, F two. The first secret is right here. Mr. Car. I forget what Mr. Car's purpose is, but uh, he's there, and I think, and as you may see, you will see Mr. Stick uh, hiding in the trash can. Moving on. Uh, what do you want to kill Snotty? Well, here's the thing. I already got the Snotty proof badge, so uh, you want? Yeah, let's 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 do it so I can at least show off what happens when you kill him. I can I can always revive him uh, if I want. Yeah, I believe it, I believe it's off screen. Uh, for the time. Uh, the food will show up, but anyway. Uh, next one. Shit. It's a really hard one because you have to, uh, break it. Uh... There we go. Got it. Once we break that initial one, you can just... Come on, let me in, damn it. There we go. Noise at Cafe. The Vigilante's here. Get close to them. Noise at will ask for a tip, and the Vigilante will sip on his coffee. Uh, the Noise at is the Noise's girlfriend, by the way. Uh, now, we go back down to where Snotty used to be. There's a here lies Snotty. Yep, yep, I'm a horrible monster, but I have to show it off. I have to fair, I have to fair at least, I have to show it off at the very least. Can't blame me for that. Like I said, like I said, I can always revive it. And he lives all in my in my other two save files. All right, so here's the watching screen. Uh, see this guy right here? That is Snick. Snick was a character created specifically for the Sage 2019 demo. And he made, and he was playable in that demo. Somehow, Snick became a fan favorite. Those, those poor people who uh, are a fan of Snick. Uh, people want to see Snick uh, playable, and the Vigilante was also really supposed to be playable. In fact, the game I think was supposed to launch with, with three playable characters. Uh, Pepino, obviously being one of them. Uh, the noise of the vigilante. Obviously, Gustavo became a playable character uh, eventually because I don't remember if I mentioned this in the Gnome Force and in the episode when I did Gnome Force, but Gustavo was originally planned to be a. Uh, he was originally planned to give you pizza and you're supposed to go through the Gnome Force delivering pizza. And the pizza had to help. If the pizza is if the health hits zero, the pizza is ruined. You're immediately brought back to uh, Gustavo. Uh, Gustavo will get so pissed off at you, he'll just start deck just eating the ever living shit out of you before he gives you another pizza to deliver. Yeah, I'll yep. Uh, when uh, when Mick Pig announced on Twitter that uh, the noise will come as a in a later update as a playable character, someone asked about Snick, and all he did was laugh. So uh, yep. At least Snick is, lives on here, and and he's in his Halloween he's in his in his uh, Halloween costume from from the Halloween from the public Halloween demo uh, known as Noises Hard Week. Speaking of noise, there he is, just right on that watch. And there's one more tower secret. If you go up here, here's here's the scrap. Here's the Scrap Mansion level, or at least something about the Scrap Mansion level. So, yeah. And with that being said, that is it for Pizza Tower. If you, so, if you guys enjoyed the entirety of this Let's Play, please consider subscribing. I, I, would re I will really appreciate it. Uh, it will help my channel grow, and... And I'll also tell the YouTube algorithm to recommend my my, my uh, videos. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next Let's Play. Whatever that would be. Because I surely don't know. Uh, 
So yeah, yeah. Have a good one, folks. Bye bye.